It's an idea that could start trending. Not only does this restaurant owner run a successful eatery, but now he wants to take advantage of all of this parking space by turning it into an old school movie theater. And all you have to do is sit in the car, eat your popcorn, and enjoy the show. Sitting on your couch browsing Netflix may have been relaxing at first, but after being cooped up in your home for almost two months, it's sure to bring boredom. Chris Henney, the owner of River Restaurant in Wethersfield, says that is what he heard from his customers before reopening his doors on the 20th. Even offering delivery, his customers chose to pick up their food themselves just to get out of the house. That is when Henny decided the people in Connecticut need a not so new form of entertainment, a drive in movie theater. With a big parking lot that gets empty at night, it was the perfect idea. Well, we know we can get about 120 cars. We're assuming there'll be on average three to four people per car. So probably somewhere between uh, 360 to uh, 480 per show. Cars will be parked six feet apart. If people do not want to sit inside their car to watch the movie, they can sit on the hood, but no lawn chairs will be allowed. There will be restrooms where staff members will be constantly sanitizing them. Henny proposed his idea to the Planning and Zoning Commission about two months ago and was recently approved for the project last week. Mayor Michael Rell says there was no opposition from the town, but they are carefully observing every aspect. From noise to lights, you know, Brainerd Airport is, is right up the road. So uh, we're making sure that, you know, there's, there's no interference with anything, you know, traffic on 91, air traffic. It is a project that may cost up to a quarter of a million dollars, but one that will be well worth it. They'll come in the main entrance and they will drive down this roadway here. There will be uh, a tent type structure where they will be checked in. All tickets will be bought online prior to arrival so that there'll be, it's all contactless. People will then have their license plate checked in and someone will direct them to a spot. As for what movies will be playing, Henny says you will just have to stay tuned. Chris Henny says he is hoping to have it started up by the end of June, even extending the experience all the way to October. As for admission fees and hours, that is something still in the works. Reporting in Weathersfield, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.